Hey hikers, my name is Kat and I'm your Los Angeles hiking guide and in this video I'll be showing you exactly how to get to the Bridge to Nowhere, Devil's Gulch, and the Hidden Tunnel all in one hike in the San Gabriel Mountains. The hike is 10.6 miles round trip and if you want to include Devil's Gulch and the Hidden Tunnel it's going to end up being 11.3 miles round trip. It takes 5 to 6 hours to complete with about 1450 feet and elevation gain and for this hike you will need the $5 adventure pass so be sure to stay until the end to find out where you can purchase yours. This video is a little bit longer than most of my videos, so if you've already been to Bridge to Nowhere and you just want to know how to get to Devil's Gulch, be sure to skip to that timestamp on the video, and I will be showing you three different ways on getting to Devil's Gulch. To get to the trailhead and parking, just type the Bridge to Nowhere trailhead on your phone and it should lead you right to the parking lot. We hiked it on 4th of July weekend and had to park about 3 fourths of a mile before the actual trailhead. So if you're planning on hiking it during a summer weekend, make sure you get there early. This is the main parking lot and those are the restrooms over there. This is the main trailhead and it's going to be a slight downhill until you reach the campgrounds. But before we go any further, let's look at a map of some of the landmarks we're going to come across. At the bottom of our screen is where we're at right now. We're going to pass the campgrounds on our left. About 25 minutes into our hike, we're going to come across our first river crossing. Five minutes later, we're going to come across our second river crossing, which will be the ruins. We're going to stay on the right side of the river, crossing a wooden bridge and spotting a swan rock formation on a hillside. And we'll come back to this map after that. you cross to the left hand side of the river you're gonna climb up a bit and if you look down you'll be able to see the river below you. After about five minutes from your first crossing you'll come across some ruins and that's where you'll cross a second time right back to the right side of the river and these ruins are actually part of an old road that went to the bridge to nowhere that got washed out. After crossing to the right side of the river, you're going to stay on the right for about an hour and a little under 2 miles before crossing the river again. During that stretch, you're going to cross a wooden bridge and spot a swan rock formation. In this part of the trail, you might think it's time to cross over to the left, but just stay on the right and it'll be a lot easier. The trail kind of opens up, but as long as you're going upstream, you're headed in the right direction. This is the wooden bridge you're going to cross entering the Sheep Mountain Wilderness. After the wooden bridge, you're going to hike down where you'll be alongside the river. A 
little bit after crossing the wooden bridge, the canyon's gonna open up and you'll be able to spot the Swam Rock Formation. After about five minutes from the Swan Rock Formation, you're gonna come across your third river crossing and immediately after a fourth crossing, getting right back on the right side of the river. So let's do a quick recap. We just passed the Swam Rock Formation and now we're between the third and fourth crossings. In a little bit, the trail's gonna lead us to a floodplain. From the floodplain, we're gonna head left, crossing the river a fifth and a sixth time. Once we're back on the right side of the river, we'll climb up the hill for the last stretch before reaching the bridge to nowhere. And we stayed on the right side of the river except for between crossings one and two and five and six. And I would highly recommend for you to screenshot this if you plan on going anytime soon. After you cross back to the right side, the trail is kind of hidden so make sure you're paying attention to that. Once you reach the floodplain, you're going to go left for your 5th and 6th river crossings. And this stretch right here between the 5th and the 6th crossings is one of two times that we're on the left side of the river. Once you get back on the right side of the river, you're going to have to climb up the hill for your last mile stretch, which is about 25 minutes, to the bridge to nowhere. You're going to come across a sign telling you that you're entering private property. The bridge and 50 acres surrounding it are private property. So from this point on, it is no longer part of the Angeles National Forest. So make sure you're extra respectful. This property belongs to Ron Jones, the owner of Bungie America. They offer bungee jumping on weekends and you can find more information on that on their website. At the end of the bridge, there's a trail that leads to the bottom where the river runs. And I'm sure you know this, but it's the same river that we've been crossing throughout the hike. And this is a nice area to relax and enjoy your lunch, take pictures, or watch the bungee jumpers. In this next part of the video, I'll be showing you three different ways of getting to Devil's Gulch and the Hidden Tunnel. After you're done relaxing and taking pictures, you'll find a trail that goes under the bridge. Now this trail is a little more difficult than the next two, but it is an option. So let's zoom in a little bit more on the map. So we're going to take the trail under the bridge going downstream. About 25 minutes from that, the trail is going to open up twice. After the second time the trail opens up, you're going to cross to your left where you'll find the hidden tunnel. After about 10 minutes from the hidden tunnel will be the trail to Devil's Gulch.
After about 25 minutes from the bridge, the trail's gonna open up. A little bit later, the trail's gonna open up a second time before curving left. The hidden tunnel is going to be a few yards down from this boulder in the middle of the river. After you're done exploring the tunnel, you're going to continue downstream to Devil's Gulch. After about 10 minutes from the tunnel is the trail to Devil's Gulch, and this is what it looks like. Now for the second trail to the Hidden Tunnel and Devil's Gulch. Prior to getting to the bridge to nowhere, we came across a sign advising us that we were entering private property. Well, directly across that sign, there's a trail that leads down to the river. Let's look at it on a map. So after you're done taking pictures at the bridge to nowhere, you're gonna come back to the sign and take the trail across from it. It will lead you down to where the trail initially opens up. And this is actually the trail I prefer. Once you get to the bottom, you're going to cross the river and you'll be where the trail initially opens up. And the third way of getting to the hidden tunnel and Devil's Gulch is to continue hiking upstream instead of climbing the hill. And I would highly recommend for you to screenshot this. And now for tips and frequently asked questions. Number one, make sure you bring plenty of water. Number two, make sure you pack a lunch because it is a long day. Number three, make sure you wear good hiking boots. You're gonna be crossing the river multiple times and even with hiking boots, the rocks can be slippery. Number four, bring toilet paper. Number five, get there early. It does get hot and there's no shade on the second part of the hike. Number six, there's no service. But one thing that helped me track my hike and location is that I never turn off my location driving there. And I was able to see where I was at when I was looking for the trail to Devil's Gulch. But make sure it's not draining your phone's battery. And number seven, please make sure you pick up after yourself and leave the trail cleaner than how you found it.
And now for frequently asked questions. Would you hike this alone? I wouldn't, especially not on a weekday when there aren't that many hikers on the trail. On more than one occasion, I did see transients by the river. Number two, where to get a parking pass. The nearest location is the 7-Eleven on Foothill Boulevard. And for additional locations, go to the fs.usda website. And number three, when is the best time to hike it? I would say in the springtime when it's not too hot and the flow at Devil's Gulch is at its peak. And that is all I have for you today. It's been a long video, so thank you for staying with me. And if you like this video, be sure to give it a like. But more importantly, if you want to see more of this type of content, be sure to subscribe and follow me on Instagram at hikerontrail.